Hello, this is Stan Yan, and uh, this is a video documenting um, how I'm adding the cab driver into my Vincent Price comic book project. Um, as I did with the uh, villain, uh, I started by printing out um, uh, copies of the pages uh, in blue line and uh, penciling the um, illustrations right on top of my stick figures and then going ahead with my Pentel pocket brush and uh, inking my characters as you can see here. Now the thing I forgot to uh, show you last time was uh, how I got rid of the blue line when I scanned these back in so that's what I'm going to show you right now. So after I scan the image back in I go to adjustments, uh, channel mixer, and then in my preset there's this blue filter so I just do that and press OK and then uh, you know this is the stuff that I showed you last time I convert to grayscale um, do a threshold adjustment to bump everything to black or white so there's no pixel that's anywhere in between and then I archive this uh, as a bitmap and then after I've done that um, I'll go ahead and uh, convert this back to a CMYK. And the reason that I do that is uh, so I can play around with the uh, channels and create a... Um, uh, so here I am doing the uh, CMYK conversion. And uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate channel by right-clicking on my black channel and creating a black copy. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a layer from this background image. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new background. So what I'm going to do here is to um, go ahead and uh, convert um, that layer into a background with my um, background color being white. I'm going to turn off the eyeball just to illustrate uh, what I'm doing here. So I'm going to create a new layer. Uh, I'm going to call inks. And then I'm going to load the selection of the black copy channel, invert it. And you'll see I've got a selection that looks just like my line art. And then using my black, I'll just bucket that in. And uh, I've got a layer that's ready to copy into my page. So when I do that, um, you can see I can easily plop it into that layer. So if you'd like to see more, come to my website at stanyan.me.